a black stone in the hand of Georgia O'Keeffe. John Lowengard tells the story. O'Keeffe is a wonderful model, sensational. I mean, she is very dramatic herself and very graceful at the same time. And she could take a simple gesture with her hand and, and just, it was wonderful to see. And to place the rock in the middle, sun directly on it, just with her belt was all that, that was needed to make a picture. John Mealy, photographer who'd worked for life a great deal and who had an office on life, had been had an accident and um, five years before, and his mind really, since that accident, in various ways, had really been going. And somebody said, uh, you know, you should photograph John if you're ever going to. I don't think he'll be around that long. So I came down and, and to his office right next to here then and, and um, said, John, uh, I'm here to take your picture. And uh, John said, um, yes, all right. I mean, I, I felt that he knew why I'd come to take his picture and, and very, very slowly, very agonizingly slowly he moved into into this position and that was the last I, I saw of John in, you know 100 years ago nothing 150 years ago nothing had been photographed and <clears throat> Daguerre you know just to make a picture was sensational and everything everybody photographed was the first time an orange had been photographed the first time Asia had been photographed you know but since the astronauts have been to the moon and look back at Earth, there's nothing much that you can say, hey, first time ever. Uh, but that is at the west point of Australia, their military academy, and it's a right face. It's a drill in the morning. I don't think anybody's ever photographed a right face before. So, I mean, you know, possibly left face, possibly about face, but I don't know that anybody's ever photographed a right face. Anyhow, I claim it. The first time the Beatles came to the United States, they were on Ed Sullivan's show, and and then went to Philadelphia and then went down to Miami and Life wanted to do a cover on them, asked me to, to do something in Miami with them. Their manager uh, agreed that Life's cover was important. My idea was to get them into a swimming pool. The only pool we could find was unheated, unfortunately. We provided lunch. The pool was in a house that had a gate. We could keep the rest of the press out. They showed up, kind of scruffy high school kids. They got in the pool. I said, would you please sing? I said, oh, well, you know, and then they tried to sing. Really cold, really uncomfortable, um, goose pimpled, and I, you know, took pictures and said, all right, that's it, and they got out and had bagels and locks and had left, and the rest of the press was outside banging on the door and <clears throat> trying to, to get in. I was photographing the photographer Brassai, who lives in Paris, who lived in Paris, and uh, I'd gone to his apartment, and his apartment was a perfectly nice apartment. And boy, I'd love to live in Paris, and there's nothing wrong, except that the light was wrong, and the walls were very crowded, and there really, I just couldn't see a single thing to photograph, and there were five of us, his wife, and, and uh, there were three of us in the apartment. I just uh, hated it. So uh, in the, what do you do in your day kind of questioning, he said, well, of course, this is my studio. It's about 10 minutes away, so said, whoopee, let's go to the studio, where that, whatever that is. We did, and, and it was kind of a garage. It was a studio, but it was sort of like a garage and a courtyard, and wonderful and filled with all sorts of things. And, and that made a picture. But uh, at this point, by the light by the door, large, wide door, uh, seemed wonderful for his face. And his face is kind of like a frog's, his big eyes, really extraordinarily large eyes. And, um, and so I said, uh, would you come over and let me do something by the door? He said, sure, sure. He couldn't have been more helpful. And so I'm in on his face and in the usual kinds of, of, of uh, uh, looking at the usual kinds of things and sort of wondering, well, it needs a little bit more. And I'm focusing with a, a lens that I have, which is a 65 millimeter lens and focusing. And so I'm doing like this. I'm not very far from his face, uh, maybe 15 inches. I don't know how far it is. And, uh, and so he comes up and starts doing this. And, you know, wonderful. Uh, suddenly something had happened. It was, it, you know, it's, 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 it's like rockets going off in this little, little field of view. And I said, wonderful, sensational, terrific. And like most photographers, wasn't sure that I got it. You know, he just done this like this, and I go and click, click, click. And so I asked him to do it again. And, uh, you know, it was all wrong. Second time, I'm asking him to do. So, where the first time it's his joke, his going, you know, uh -huh, isn't that funny, a little comment. Uh, the second time he is pleasing me by trying to duplicate it, and it just, the whole muscles involved, the whole picture just doesn't work.
it isn't there. And fortunately, it was just fine the first time around. The role that I spent trying to recreate it is not worth looking at. I think the advice for new photographers has always been uh, they should have their head examined, that nobody in his right mind would try to be a still photographer. This is true. This is the same advice given 30 years ago, probably given 50 years ago, as given now. It's true. Uh, you're competing against people who have a passion to be a photographer and cannot think of doing anything else. If you think you could possibly be a banker, but you'd rather be a photographer, be a banker, because you, you, you won't, <clears throat> you won't uh, make it against the crazies kind of thing. But I think that, you know, still photography is a way, for me particularly, of describing people, humans, dealing with this. I think there's, there's nothing uh, visual that has the power of the still photograph, that there's nothing that, you know, it gives, has the independence of the still photographer. You work by yourself, what you do is yours. And if you can do it, um, I think there's nothing better.